Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the application of Roth theorem. In fact, the Roth theorems is a special case of amphitheory theorems. If a function f(x) is continuous in AB and also divisible in AB, if f(a) equals f(b), then there is at least a one point C, which makes the derivative at C equals zero. In fact, it's easy to understand this statement because if a function f a equals f b, it can only happen that the function at least has one turning point. As we know, the turning point is always local maximum or minimum, which means the derivative should be zero. Here is the example. If we want to verify the function f x equals three times x square minus six x plus nine, whether or not satisfying the row theorems in the range zero and two. So at first we just plug x equals zero into this function, and x equals two into function to get the corresponding f x. Values, as you can see, f zero equals f two. That means we should be able to find at least one point C within zero and two to get the derivative equals zero. So we just get the derivative in the function f x to make it zero. We can get a point x equals one. Indeed, x equals one is within the range zero and two. That means this function satisfies the Rowe theorem. However, the most interesting application is with the contradiction method. For example, if we want to prove the function f x equals x cubic plus two times x square plus four x minus twelve, has at the most one real root. Of course, you can solve this equation to prove this statement, but that process will be tedious. Here, we can use the row theorem to prove this statement. We don't directly prove this statement. At first, we make a contradiction assumption to the statement. So we assume that the function has at least two real roots x one, x two. So, which means f x one, f x two equals zero. So, based on the row theorem, which means we can find a point within x one and x two, make it derivative equals zero. So, we just do the derivative in the function f x. We can have f x derivative equals three times x square plus four x. Plus four to make this derivative equals zero. In order to get the solution x, however, this function has no solution. As you can see, the number under square root is negative, which means we couldn't find a point between x one and x two has a derivative equals zero. That means our assumption violate the row theorem. Only the original statement is right, so this function has at the most one real root, maybe no root. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.